What's going on everybody? I've got something very special for you that I don't think anybody's ever been to this store from the United States. I am here at Mayan Style Mission Control. If you guys didn't know guys, this is basically like kind of a Funko store in China. I would say it's pretty comparative to like, you know, the store that's HQ over in Seattle and also the one that's over in uh, Hollywood as well. So I'm excited to dive in guys, check it out and show you everything in the store. It is, it's gonna be awesome. So we're gonna start things off guys, right at the very front, Mayan Style Mission control so if you guys didn't know this opened back in 2023 i believe it was a collaboration with a bunch of different like you know toy companies and everything like that funko was a part of it a bunch of different artists and everything so we're going to see funko and a bunch of other things in here so we're going to start at the main entrance right here so a lot of what we're going to see guys is a lot of ron english figures and a lot of other different collectibles as well and i'm not super well versed in all of the different things that are here so you guys might be able to fill in some of the stuff that i'm you know lacking knowledge on but as you can see there's all sorts of really cool collectibles in here guys like i've seen these before i can't remember what they're called specifically ah uh, the the serial killers line those are pretty sweet maybe we'll have to buy a couple of those but you can see some of those with like frankenberry captain crunch in there you also have toucan sam and if i'm not mistaken i think these soda cats are ones that they came out as uh paka pakas funko made these but i think these are the original ones so those are cool to see but yeah in here we have some more ron english stuff you got some smurf even more Ron English statues the McDonald's ones right there those are sweet but speaking of Ron English guys looks like we actually have a couple of different Funko Pops in here as you can see we have the sticker right there guys with the future city sticker right here which is where we are that's where MMC is located this is the growing grin sunflower right here and I think there's a different version of him as well, we'll probably see it inside but as you can see guys it's this one right here with the multiple eyes that's pretty cool it's kind of based off of the you know already existing statue right here but guys there is so much more that we can explore but as we are walking through guys we have bear bricks in here and so many other really cool collectibles we've got all the different dc guys right here i would say most of the justice league you got like a samurai version of batman you have a really cool version of robin right here a bunch of other really awesome figures guys they don't have the life-size ones but we have the green arrow right here wonder woman we have the flash superman we have batman again right there and a life-size version of the flash actually you know what i spoke too soon looks like they have life-size versions of all of them so green arrow superman and also harley quinn over there like i said guys this store is just a massive matchup of everything collectible so you can see they have lounge fly up there and a bunch of different disney stuff and other cartoons that are represented over here we have some mickey mouse figures right here you have the buzz lightyear with his eyes closed bunch of other disney stuff right here some of the metallic stuff that these are really cool it's like we also have some mickey figures in here as well like i said these aren't funko but we're we're getting to the funko stuff guys there's plenty of it trust me but as we make our way guys over over to this other place guys we have a bunch of skateboard decks these are all different ron english skateboard decks if you guys want to take a look at some of those i'll just kind of pan through them so you can see all the different designs with disney some of the cereal ones some of the mcdonald's ones those are sweet okay folks let's get started with more funko stuff right here so if you guys didn't know we're gonna see a bunch of other different exclusives in here guys like we did the ron english stuff but you can see right here we have a ron english sugar circus screaming clown i think we may have seen this before but we'll see a lot of pop asia stuff as what we're gonna focus on but we're gonna see a lot of different things from the states as well guys with some harley quinn dc we have some pennywise too check it out they have a whole wall of mystery minis they also have some disney 100 stuff as well I mean, they've, they've got pretty much everything that you would find at the other Funko stores. Right behind me, guys, I found a Marvel display. It looks like it has a bunch of different, you know, Avengers pops in here. We have the giant Thanos. We have a bunch of Groot pops. You can see a bunch of other Groot stuff right in here. Then back over here, guys, we have a bunch of Spider-Man pops, a bunch of other Marvel exclusives. I think what we're going to see a majority of is the special edition stuff, because here in China, they obviously don't have the same stores that we have back in the States. So I believe this would be an Amazon exclusive back in the States. You know, I've never seen these pops before before guys pop asia smurfs is that something i don't know i've never seen those before guys we have smurfette brainy smurf papa smurf hefty smurf what else is there another one i think that's all of them but yeah pop asia smurfs i've never seen those oh and then i forgot one guys down here they have a gargamel right here <laughs> oh my gosh these are so cool when did these get announced did i miss these let me know down in the comment section below if you know anything about the pop asia smurfs guys i'm not gonna lie i am very overwhelmed with all the stuff that's in here because i'm finding older stuff in here as well so one of the examples of things that i found i found a poe with hat guys this is from 2016 
This is an old figure, guys. That's like an eight-year-old pop, and I found a couple other ones, too. Like, I mean, check it out, guys. We have some of the old Fallout pops right here. Call of Duty Brutus. Oh, my goodness, guys. There's so many old figures. Morocco Mole's cool. Some Independence Day. We have some of the other, like, Hanna-Barbera stuff, like Wacky Racers, too. Yeah, I'll have to keep looking around and see what other older stuff I can find. Another example, guys, of stuff that I found that is older. We have some Zootopia Pops right here, guys, with Ella Finnick right there. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. And I also found another Disney one, guys. This is an older one, too. I can't find the year. I think it's 2016 as well. Princess Ada from A Bug's Life. Maybe we'll have to see if we can find some of the other ones around here, too. Okay, speaking of another older pop that I found, guys, I found a Nemo. And check it out. This is the one from 2016. It's got the old Funko logo on the bottom. Dang, I, I'm trying to decide what I can take home, guys. There's so many cool ones. Okay, while I'm over here, guys, I wanted to show this display of a bunch of different Disney pops. You got Stitch, Mickey. We also have some princesses, Blacklight, Nightmare Before Christmas. You have some anime in here, Hello Kitty, Jurassic Park. I think it's pretty cool that they have these all displayed like this. We have some more Marvel, Game of Thrones, Star Wars. Holy cow. Okay, folks, I walked a little further and I'm finding more older stuff. Look, as you can see, there's a bunch of like mixed in new stuff as well. But check this out, guys. We have some older Star Wars pops. We have a Hammerhead. This one's from 2015. So not quite the oldest version of these Star Wars pops. We also have Chewbacca right here. Also a 2015. It is that blue box, though. And we also have a Gamorrean Guard from 2015. So yeah, like I said, there's a good mix of new, good mix of old. We're probably going to find some more, though. All right, guys, I found another older pop right in here, guys. We have a Pac-Man. We have Pinky right here coming in from 2016. Like I said, we keep finding older stuff, which I think is fantastic. Dark Crystal is another good one, guys. What year did this one come out? 2016 as well. Got Hunger Games in there, the Little Prince. I mean... Yeah, there's all sorts of cool stuff. We're gonna get to some of the China, like Pop Asia exclusives as well. Okay, guys, right behind me, we're gonna look at some of these uh, China exclusives or Pop Asia exclusives. We have Ming Ming right here. Some of these I've never even heard of, guys, and I think a majority of the Pop Asia stuff that we're gonna check out is gonna have bobbleheads. We have Tuan Tuan right here. Probably saying some of these wrong. Yuan Yuan. We also have Hua Hua. What else do we have in here? I mean, I think they're all the same on this pillar. Right here, guys, we have Yummy Tofu. Okay, that one's pretty cool. I might need to pick this one up right here. He's got the tofu. He's got the yummy, like, hot pot kind of thing going on on top of his head. And the nunchucks, that's sweet. Over here, I feel like I've seen these ones before, guys. And I'm probably going to say his name wrong, but Cho Cho. Cho Cho? I think I said that right, guys. But a couple of different exclusives. Him in a glitter, glitter tuxedo. I also have the one with him in the skateboard. Ooh, and a thousand piece exclusive too. Yeah, check that out, guys. Limited to a thousand pieces. I might need to pick that one up. That that's crazy that they have limited piece stuff here. Yeah, so it looks like they have a bunch of the thousand piece exclusives, guys. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna pick up one of these today. So those are sweet. Alright, if you want to check out some more of them, guys, we have Jing Shi, we have Sleepy Ghost, Yecha, Treasure Guardian, we got Tang right here, Queen. I mean Pop Asia stuff that I've never even seen before. Little Dragon, I don't even know what that's from. I've never heard of that before. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna keep exploring, but if you want a quick recap of everything that I just looked at, it is in this whole massive area right here. Holy cow, guys, I, I'm speechless and we haven't even scratched the surface. Okay, so I am done in this area, guys, and it looks like over here they have a station where you can create your own bags and shirts with different patches and designs and things. Ooh, and it looks like I actually found some more pops over here too. Okay, let's check it out and see what they have down here. I think I've seen a couple of these. Were these shared with a convention? I don't remember. We have a Lucky Dragon pop in there, limited to 2,000 pieces. That's pretty sweet. Dragon Dance. I mean, guys, there's so many cool exclusives in here that are limited. If you want to check out some of them in here, the 1,000 piece Wuxi as well, like the golden yellow one. Holy cow, guys. Over here, guys, I found another corner of exclusives, and it looks like we have some more limited piece ones as well. Guan Yu on Chuto, Chitu? I probably said that wrong as well. Limited to 2,000 pieces. Looks like it's metallic, and then this right here would be the normal one if you guys want to take a look at it out of box. There it is. But we also have a bunch of other ones in here, guys. We have Chinese acrobats. Okay, we have a monkey one up there, a panda one, some of those soda cats that we saw earlier as pops. Yeah, there's so many cool ones right here. I'm, I'm just speechless. This is crazy. Okay, I took a quick detour, guys, back in the skateboard area, coming back through here, MMC through this tunnel. 
there is some more Ron English figures. So we took a look at these at the beginning, guys, at the entrance. So this is the one that we saw out of box. Here he is with the box. But it looks like we also have some Robins right in here, some Superman. I think we, you guys have probably seen these ones before. But if you wanna check out this whole Ron English display, this is cool. They even have a video about him right up there playing and a bunch of his other figures as well, guys. Oh, I love that Marvin the Martian one right there. That's sweet. All done in the Ron English section, guys, and it looks like they have some really cool Pop Asia photo ops right here. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> there's so much cool stuff to look at. So I'm not entirely sure who this character is. Actually, there's a pop of him right here. Let's check him out. So right here we have Jian Zia, I think. <laughs> guys, I am trying my best, but this is a limited thousand piece exclusive as well. I might have to pick that one up, but it also looks like this is the regular version. It's a Funko Specialty Series exclusive. He has his eyes closed. So, I mean, come on, I, I gotta pick this one up, guys. Another limited piece exclusive, might as well. Okay, on to the next section and the next photo op, guys. We can see a bunch of different stuff right here. Is this the Monkey King? I feel like I've seen him before. Oh my gosh, let's zoom out. You guys aren't seeing this. Is this the Monkey King? I think it is. But anyways, the pops that are behind this photo op right here, guys, that's water margin. If you wanna take a look at some of those pops, some more story, but classic pops as well. Jade Emperor, Beggar So. I've seen this one before. I think this might have a chase too. Pretty cool, looks like they have the storybook classics two pack. I wanna say that this one might have been available on the Funko shop. Coming over here, guys, they have some of the different, uh, you know, DC like armored pops, like the samurai ones right here. They have the limited edition exclusive with the golden flash too. Oh my gosh, and going to the right, guys, they have a chase over here of Old Master Q. Dang, do I gotta get the chase? I, I think I might have to. That is so cool. I wonder if we'll find any other chases around here. Okay, moving down over here, guys, I'm finding some more really cool Pop Asia exclusives with the Monkey King right there. He's like a wood inversion. Elixir Ape, that is pretty cool. I love the designs on those. What else do we have in here, guys? Some more Pop Asia stuff. I mean, I keep saying that, but I want to say that these ones, Four Heavenly Kings. I feel like I've seen that in the States before. But it looks like that is a 15-year mine style exclusive, so that's pretty sweet. But if you guys want to take a look at some of the other stuff that they have in here, a bunch of different two-packs of things. What else do we have in here? Some of the Three Immortals. That's a pretty cool one, guys. What else do we have in here? Chinese storybook classics again. Ooh, and the Ancient Warrior three pack. Oh my goodness. I, guys, I don't even know what to pick up because there's just so many crazy things in here. This is, this is insane, I'm speechless. And then right behind that display, guys, we have yet another photo op. I wish I knew who this was, but if you guys know, let me know down in the comment section below. So folks, I backtracked a little bit and uh, there's some stairs? What's what's down here? Making my way downstairs, guys. I am finding a couple of different things. Not a ton of Funko stuff though. We have this giant gold uh, LeBron statue right here, Funko Gold. Bunch of really cool bear bricks. We have a Ron English Tasmanian Devil. Tons of different other collectibles in here, guys. I mean, if you just want to take a look at all the different bear bricks that they have in here, that Walter White is absolutely insane. That's so cool. They also have a Funko Gold figure of the Notorious B.I.G. I, I love that. That looks great. But if you want to take a look at some of the other ones that they have in here, guys, Joe Cool. We have the Slimer from Ghostbusters. Chucky. Who else we got in here? Mickey Mouse. Oh my goodness. They even have Wally and also Eve. Oh, that's so cool. And another Funko Gold figure, guys, right here of Tupac. I made my way back upstairs, guys. So back at the photo op center, we're going back through this little tunnel right here. And it looks like they have a bunch of different NBA pops. So if we look over here, actually, it's a continuation of some of the other ones that we've seen. But if we look over to this right, we have a bunch of different Michael Jordan figures, which I feel like we've seen those a good amount. We got LeBron James in here, Magic Johnson. You can get a good feel. It looks like it's a lot of different new stuff as well. A good mix of like the current players and some of the, uh, you know, classic legend players as well. Okay, and coming out of this section, folks, it looks like we have some more. I don't know, there's some Funko stuff that are in here. Some pops that I've never heard of. Let's check these out real quick. So it looks like this is a collaboration with Reen Barrera. I think that's how you say her name, or Reach. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but we have Flores right here and Love, a couple of different exclusive figures right here. But it looks like these are the normal figures. Funko made a collaboration with them. That's pretty sweet. Oh, and what do you know, guys? There is another photo op over here, guys, of the villains. I believe that they have this one at Funko Hollywood. 
as well. So it's cool that they have it here. Oh, and then right behind that, guys, we have another Funko photo op of, you know, the sexy Ian Malcolm. We also have the T-Rex right behind him. That's pretty sweet, guys. That's a fun photo op that they have here as well. So it looks like, guys, they actually have some exclusive, like, shirts to uh, Mind Style Mission Control. We have this really cool astronaut shirt. I'm considering getting that one. They also have some stuff, you know, representing the city, guys. I love Shenzhen. That's where this place is located. And I think I found the shirt that I want to pick up, guys. We have the, right here, we have the Mission Control shirt. It has a little UFO on it. I, I gotta get that one. Okay, and then back over here, guys, they have yet another photo op. I love this so much with the Toy Story stuff. They have this at Funko Hollywood, I believe. But uh, do they have the Rex in Funko Hollywood? That might be the different character. I'm not entirely sure, but I gotta love this. I, I love Toy Story. This is so cool. Okay, and finishing off in this room, guys, it looks like this is kind of the main part of the checkout of the store. And they got a bunch of exclusive and uh, One Piece pops. And speaking of another photo op, guys, they have some stormtroopers right here in the land speeder. Oh, this is, a, this is a fun store, guys. If you ever make it to China, I don't know if any of you will. You, you gotta come. This place is sweet. But anyways, if you want to see some of the pops that they have out here, guys, they have some of the Mission Control pops, which I think we've seen some of these before. But uh, if you want to take a look at some of them, they have the Commander, Payload, spe Payload, Payload Specialist, the Operator. We have Ron English, a couple of different Area 54 pops in there. Oh, that one's sweet. I love the design on that one. But some other stuff that we've seen already with like the Elixir Ape, we have the Monkey King as well. I don't know if we've seen any of these guys. We have a Funko Asia exclusive Lucky Cat. I have one back at home and it's a metallic version. Do I need to get the Asia exclusive one here? I just might, but we also have a six inch version right below that one. Over here guys, you know I've been talking about Ron English a lot, but here is Ron English himself right here. Papagoda or Papaganda. I, Papa, I don't even know, guys. I'm so overwhelmed right now, but that is a Ron English pop. So apparently, guys, they're having a sale right now, guys. August through September. It looks like the 16th. Buy one, get one free of all the different One Piece pops. I'm not a big One Piece guy, but it looks like most of the stuff is going to be common things. And I know you guys are curious to see what version of Luffy this is. Looks like it's the new blue barcode version. So no, we're not taking advantage of any crazy sales on some of the older stuff. It looks like it's newer restocks. Okay, folks, and then back over here, it looks like we're going to wrap it up with some more Asia exclusives. If you guys want to check out some of the ones that they have out of box, I think we've pretty much covered all of these throughout the store. But uh, there is a better look at those if you guys want to check them out. Okay, and then back over here, guys, it looks like they have some more of the different three packs right here with the, you know, the Immortals, the Ancient Warriors. So if you want to get another look at some of those, there they are. I, I want to buy some of these. I just don't know what I want to pick up yet. A few moments later. But folks, I have had an absolute blast here. I've got my basket of stuff that I have so far. I'm gonna take another quick lap around the store, make sure I didn't miss anything that I wanna pick up here. But uh, it's been a blast, guys. There's so much to take in. Alrighty, guys, here is the entire haul that I got over at the MMC store. And I gotta say, this was an absolute blast, guys. That store was absolutely insane. But let's go into the haul of things that I ended up getting. I ended up getting this Dragapanda pop, which I thought was really cool. Everything that I got was limited piece. A couple things were not quite limited piece, but this is limited to 2,000 pieces. I thought this was really cool. I actually saw pandas on my trip, and so I figured, you know what? We gotta get one that uh, relates to something that I saw on my vacation to China. This one I thought was was really cool guys there was a photo op with this guy Jiang Zia I, I probably said that wrong but it's limited to a thousand pieces and there was the photo op and I decided to get a pop of this one I, honestly it's crazy to see limited piece pops like that just around the store limited to two thousand pieces we have the lucky dragon which I thought was just a cool one and just a fun keepsake pretty awesome that I found a chase we got old master Q right here guys I, you know, you'll have to let me know in the comment section below what this is from, if it's a cartoon or like a comic strip or something, but pretty cool that we were able to find a chase, I gotta say. We have the uh, Asia exclusive Lucky Cat from 2023. I actually have the metallic version of this, so it's cool to add this one to the collection as well. Over here, guys, I added Jose Aldo, which they had almost the entire UFC line. I can't remember if I got footage of that. I don't think I did, but uh, anyways, that was pretty sweet. We have this guy right here, and I'm, I'm not even gonna try and say his name, but this one's limited to a 1,000. I wanna say that this was shared with um, San Diego Comic-Con maybe, or there was a Comic-Con that this was a part of, I can't remember, but pretty cool that they still had some of those in the store. I got this guy, guys, the Yummy Hot Pot, which I did have Hot Pot while I was in China, so I figured this was a fun character. China, China Traditions, so that's kind of an interesting one. And this was actually a pretty cool surprise, so I don't think I got this one on footage, but 
The guy, there was one of the employees that was at the store. He was super nice. He didn't speak much English, but he told me, he's, he pointed to this pop and he's like, hey, he's like, uh, surprised? And I was like, sure. So he goes into the back and he pulls out a chase. He's like, you want chase? And I was like, sure. So that's when I ended up getting this because he, he recognized, you know, that I was a collector and everything like that. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, this one did have a photo op. And uh, honestly, I had no idea that this one had a chase, but he offered and I figured, heck, let, let's get it. That employee was super cool. He even subscribed to my YouTube channel which was interesting you know between you know i don't know chinese he didn't know english but it was fun that i was able to have that interaction and uh that's the haul holy cow folks that store was absolutely insane if that store was in the states i feel like it would do a lot better i've heard a bunch of different things from different people that have actually been to that store before or have lived in the local area and they say that it doesn't get very good business but i don't know maybe it's just in a weird area just not a ton of collectors over in that you know part of china who knows but anyways you'll have to let me know in the comments section below guys what you would have bought from that store there were so many pop asia exclusives older stuff as well like vaulted stuff from like 2016 absolutely blew my mind let me know in the comment section below what you think of the store also be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one here thank you guys so much for watching again you guys are awesome and the best like always remember to be kind of one another always promote positivity i'll see you in the next video catch you guys later